Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. I know, can you guys believe it? Time to break out the hoodies. Fall is here. It is beautiful out. We have a nice, crisp, clean fall day ahead of us. Temperature right now is running at 53 degrees Fahrenheit. That seems to be around the highest temperature for the week, is looking at the low 60s, mid 50s. We even might have a frost later this week, so pretty crazy to think about. It appears that Manure Day is getting started without me. Hey, when did you get here? I don't wanna pick that up. Have you been here all night just waiting for me to pick that up? Yes, you've taken a long time to get here, Joel. I'm sorry, here. Let's swap. Is this better? Absolutely. Okay, all right. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Joel. I appreciate your face. No problem, Gavin. I appreciate your face. So Gavin is getting started on getting all the muck buckets in the aisleways and hay. So that's awesome. We're gonna capitalize on how quick things are getting done and get started on measuring out. Things are getting colder, so I still need to make sure I get the rest of the barn pressure washed. It's on my list, and I do plan on getting that done, and same with mowing the pastures. I do plan on getting that done. This is empty. <laughs> so that's empty. That means we're moving all the way back over here to this one. Spicy. Also, all the fans are turned off. So that's nice. Now, with Gavin's help, we have all the muck buckets on the aisleways and hay in the stalls, which means it's time to feed the donkeys. Yeah, good morning, boys. You ready? Look at those pinned ears. Oh, you guys are something else. Buster, how's the food taste? How about you, Rocky? What do you think? <laughs> something that I always think is interesting is that the donkeys go in one spot in the stall. Nowhere else. For reference, we didn't train them to do that. They just do that. It's pretty awesome. Now with that, it's time to let in our horses. So we're gonna be starting with the first horse of the group. Hey, good morning, Docs. Yeah, good morning. I also just wanted to add, as you guys can tell, Caitlin has decided to keep his name as Docs. However, from what I understand, she did really like a lot of the suggestions that you guys had for his name. Her favorite of all the suggestions you guys gave was Spirit, but she ultimately decided to just keep the name Docs. So, for all those that commented spirit, just know that that was her favorite. Just thought I'd like to share that with you guys. All right, good stuff, bud. What do you think, huh? You wanna say good morning to everybody? Yeah, you wanna say good morning? Our faithful pooch. For it being Menor Day, we are super far ahead of schedule, which is crazy. It's only nine o'clock and we are already letting the horses in. Woo, that is awesome. All right, next horse we're letting in is Dory. Now, uh, the video did just go live with all of you guys suggesting the names for Dory. I haven't been able to talk with the owner yet, so time will tell. However, in case you guys were curious, bot flies are all cleaned up and good. We don't have any problems with him. We were able to get all the eggs off. The owners came down every single day and brushed out his mane to get those eggs out of his mane and brushed off his legs to get all of them off of his legs. And with him being dewormed, anything that was in his system has been purged and out of his system now. So Dory's back to great health. And today Dory's getting turned out. So around lunchtime today, we're gonna be letting Dory out for the first time. So that's pretty exciting. Poncho was uh, attacking the gate with his nose. But anyway, go ahead, bud. He's got some spunk. All right. Are you guys ready for some poncho power? Here you go, poncho. Look at that same excitement as Dory. Breathtaking. In all seriousness, it's crazy how similar they look. All right, Gavin's inside there, so he's able to close the doors, which means I can go right to letting in the middle field. So we've got Champ, Jack, Rebel, and Casino. Do you guys think Jack's ready to come in? I think so. Looks like Champ needs his hooves done. Needs a trim. Rebel, looking good. Casino, looking great. Man, things are moving smooth today. Too smooth. Come on, pup. Let's go. Let's go. Good deal. All right, now we got the rest of these guys to let in. You ready, Melissa? All right. All right. Go ahead, Swade. He's the first one in. 
And we got Declan, Danny, Weather, Obi, Duke, Samson. And we go, ooh, look at the trot. A little bit of a lope there. Looking good, Spitfire. Looking good, Archer. There's Gavin. Look at how good he's doing. He's doing great. And then we got Argento, Roni, and William, and Skywalker. And if you guys can tell, Skywalker's got a limp. I suspect Thrush. So we're gonna take a look and see if there's any cracks in his hoof and if there's an infection. And if there is, then we're gonna have to treat that with some copper top. Looks like it's his front left. Yeah, front left. He's, he's moving the front right really quick so that he can get it back underneath himself. And everybody else is looking good. Roni, Argento, William, good deal. And today, it appears we have some spectators. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Sounds like Argento's causing a problem in here, so I need to go check out what's going on. Why is it that you like causing so many problems, huh? You got an answer for that? My mom would say he's beautiful, so it's okay, but I, I don't feel that way. Is he pretty? Yes. But it would be nice if he just went right to his stall when he was supposed to. All right, with all the horses in, we've hit that special time of the day. Do you guys know what time it is? It's donkey time. Woo! Oh yeah! Donkey time is here. Gavin's getting the hay for the donkeys right now, so we're gonna let him out. Hey, troublemakers. Come here, it's okay. There we go, Buster's gonna lead you out, okay? Go ahead and let him out, Gavin. Oh, you drop it right when you need to keep it. All right, I see how it is. For anybody that didn't know, donkeys are very stubborn. And miniature donkeys, sometimes they're even more stubborn. It's rather impressive. Come on, come on boys, come on. Wasn't that challenging, I know. Oh boy. Man, Buster moving quick, Rocky moving fast. Woo, woo. We're, that's it, come on boys. Good boys. Look at them go. Cute but feisty. Cute, but feisty. I think that's the best way to describe them. All right, good deal. Well, that's it for the donkeys, which means now we're gonna be moving on to manure and daily care, of which we've got some updates for you guys. So as we're coming up into fall now, some of them still get sunscreen or fly spray even though today's a pretty cloudy day, so sunscreen's not gonna go on some of those who get it. But fly sprays, we still put on. Even though flies aren't as big a problem in fall, ticks are. And we all know how annoying ticks can be. So it helps just to have this to protect against them. Even though to take them out, you just simply use tweezers and grab them by, make sure you grab them by the head and pull them out to prevent an infection. It's just easier to use this. I don't know how well that came through. What do you think, Danny? Another change in the normal schedule is Declan. It's a cut on his back right leg, so we gotta give him some wound coat and wound powder. The other change in normalcy is Skywalker. He has thrush in his front right hoof. Alrighty, we just finished up with manure and Gavin has finished up with daily care, which wraps an end to pretty much everything that we needed to do before letting out the horses. And might I add that they look very good, ready to be turned out, which is awesome. <laughs> so that means that it's time to let them all out and be horses and then that's, oh means that we're gonna wrap things up here for the day and move things on over to the veggie boys. Right, Docs? See what we're gonna be doing over there. So, let's let them out.
And just like that, all the horses are out. You can see the donkeys apparently have a bucket. <laughs> oh man, of course they, they do. So that's pretty much it for morning feet. <laughs> what? Those two really are in their own class. Uh, we're filling up this water trough. So we need that to be completely full before we leave. And then we're pretty much done here. So that's awesome. And the water trough's all full. So that is gonna be it. That means we're moving on over to the veggie boys. And from what I understand, we're gonna be going and cutting cabbage. So I don't know how much we're gonna film, but we're gonna film little snippets throughout the day. Gavin, you feel ready? Always. What about you? Do you feel ready? Do you like cornbread and biscuits? What are you talking about? Cornbread and biscuits. You like cornbread and biscuits? Yeah. Huh. Why are we talking about cornbread and biscuits? Uh, I just thought about cornbread and biscuits. Fair enough. Fair enough. What are we going to go do? Cut cabbage. What did cabbage do to us that we have to cut it? Why are you looking at me like that? Why is he looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? What's going on? Excuse me, sir. We need a ride. Come here, pup. Go ahead, Scoots. Come here. Come on. Go ahead. I got front, you got back? I got back, you got front. Sounds like a plan. We're loaded. And just like that, three bins of cabbage are here. Now we're moving on to tomatoes. Leia's chilling over there. She loves being out in the field with us. She can just roam around everywhere she wants. We just finished picking some tomatoes and zucchini. Petey's over there eating some cabbage, as is Andrew. It's good. And okay. Gavin's breathing air. Good. The good stuff. Have you ever had fresh cabbage from the field? Nice and sweet. They're off to the farm, and my ride's coming. Excuse me, sir. Can you take me back home to the farm? Lincoln low fuel. All right, well, we better get moving then. I think I've been doing it for like the past three days. What is this for lunch, Grammy? Turkey. Turkey sandwiches? Hot turkey sandwiches. Hot turkey sandwiches. And we have cauliflower cheese. I haven't seen you all morning. How are you doing? I'm good. Are yeah, you? look at you all smiling. Ooh, and how are you doing, honey? I'm good. Looks like you're very busy back here. Have you ever had hot turkey sandwiches before? Me neither. Apparently I made mine wrong. So we are currently back in a pepper field. I know, so exciting. Uh, they've been working on trying to get that engine started pretty much all day and we've learned that the fuel injection pump has gone bad on the motor so they're working on taking that off and figuring out uh, how to get that pump fixed. They were also working on repairing a silage harvester and all this other stuff. So, so that means we're going to be picking some peppers, specifically red bell peppers. So you know what that means? It's more veggie time. Woo! That's right, you get good. it, that's good, that's good. All right, and we are back inside the horse stable here for afternoon feeding. Today's definitely been an interesting day. I think everyone would have preferred that the engine fired over and then we would have been able to just get started harvesting potatoes. Sadly, that didn't happen, so. That means that it's another day of working on the engine, but uh, we're making progress. When we first started working on that engine, it didn't even crank, and now, we actually got it cranking with the starter hooked up. Really nice to hear it cranking. Now we just need it to fire. 
Either way, that was pretty much the majority of our day working on that engine. Afternoon feeding is pretty simple. However, we do have some special news to share with you guys. If you remember earlier on, I mentioned that Dory was being turned out for the first time. It ended up happening right while I was at lunch, so I wasn't able to film it or even be here for it. But let's see if we can find Dory in the pasture and see how things are looking. Dory! Hey, bud! Here he is. See him trotting? <laughs> yeah, hey, buddy! There he is right there. Coming on up with the donkeys. There's Dory just getting a little drink of water. Hey, Dory! Joel, what do you get when you have an angry sheep and an angry cow? Um, I don't know. What? You have two animals that are in a bad mood. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really good. Leave a like if you laughed at that. We are ready to let the donkeys in. All the grain is in the stalls, so we're time to let the donkeys in. Bring them in, Gavin. Bring them in. Here they come. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> well, that went over pretty smoothly, Gavin. All right, Gavin, let him in! Middle pasture's in, now we gotta get the big pasture in, but we gotta grab Dory, cause he has no idea where he's going. So I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm very surprised. Dory knows his stall. That's, that was quick. That's, that's pleasantly surprised though. So that's awesome. All right, so let's check on Sriracha and see how he's doing. Now we are going to expect to see some, some marks, but we don't want anything crazy. I can see what looks like there's some areas where he was nipped, but nothing that bruised the skin. No cuts or lacerations on his legs. There's a, so it looks like he got some, he got bit about three times on the back, but nothing that broke the skin. Uh, all warning signs. Awesome. Good deal. Dory looks good. So he'll be let in the left run for tonight. So that way he can kind of rest and everything. And then tomorrow at noon, he'll be let out again. And that'll be what he's doing. And I think we have about two to three days here. And then docs will be out both day and night now. Just, just out. So that's awesome. Him getting hurt ended up setting us back a little bit for us letting him out into the big field. Gavin, how do you feel about Dory having a good day out with the rest of the horses? I'm happy about it. Do tell. So. Dude, you are an open book. <laughs> when I was young, I was very poor, but now, after years of hard work, I'm no longer young. That's your dream. And Dox is now in the lower arena. All the horses are where they need to be. So that means that we've reached the end of the video. Woo! Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed spending your time with us. We certainly enjoyed having you guys with us. If you haven't, like the video and subscribe and leave in the comments below, what's your favorite thing to do in the season fall? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. I appreciate your face. Yes. All right, Greg. We'll see. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.